Okay, page four. A different uh, type of question here. 30 is 50% of what number? See if you can actually turn this into an equation. Let me start you off. 30 can be written as 30, okay? Is becomes an equal sign. How do you think we're going to deal with 50%? We usually turn percentages into what's when we're trying to calculate things. If you want to calculate something, 50% 50 is not going to help. I mean, 50% needs to be written as a decimal, right? So turn 50% into a decimal. The decimal point is here at the moment. To turn a percentage into a decimal, you move the decimal point one, two spaces to the left to get 0 0.50 or 0 0.50, okay? Now, what do you do with of? Of is what? Of is multiply, multiply by, multiply by. What number? What am we going to do with this? what number? Just stick a letter in there. It could be any letter, right? I guess when people are looking for a number they often like to use the letter N. But you could also use X or A or B or C or whatever. But I guess I'll just use N. I guess people like that a lot. So anyway, for the number. So 30 is 50% of what number? We've turned this sentence into an equation. Now we can solve it. So this is the reason I like to do it this way is many many reasons. One is it's great practice to turn a sentence into an equation. That is really good practice. You'll need that in the next few classes. Um, we have already learned how to solve equations. Why don't we use our knowledge to show use our skills to to to, to do things with? Okay, that's another reason. And it's kind of a it's a kind of a straightforward way of doing it. But in any case, do you know the answer to this, by the way? Well, anyway, so the answer shouldn't surprise us when we get it, I hope. But so I want to get the n by itself. n is being multiplied by 0 0.50. What do I need to divide this by to get n on its own? I've got an equation, n is being multiplied by this number. I just divide by that number, don't I? And I must divide both sides by that number. 30 divided by 0 0.50. Okay. So um, I guess I need to calculate that. 30 divided by 0 0.50. Hmm. And once again, you could think about this as look, if I multiply it by 10 over 10, I get 10 times 0 0.5 is 5 on the bottom, 300 on the top. Okay. Because if I'm going 0 0.5 into 30, I need to move the decimal point one space to the right, and also this decimal point one space to the right, and stick in a placeholder at 0, because this is going to become 5 into 300. Okay. Now 5 into 30 goes 6 times, and 5 into 0 goes 0 times. So the answer becomes 60 anyway. So 60 equals n. Does that surprise you? n is 60, 30 is 50 percent of what number? 30 is 60 percent, 50 percent of 60. 30 is 50 percent is a half, isn't it? 30 is one half of 60. That makes sense, right? The number is 60, yep. Okay, 22 is 25 percent of what number? Let's first turn it into an equation, so we get some practice. So 22 can be written like that is can be written as what? is 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 equals, right? Write 25% as a decimal. 25% as a decimal. Take the decimal point and move it where? One, two spaces to the right. Point two five or 
0 0.25 of becomes what? Multiply, right? And what number becomes what? So it's 0 0.25 multiplied by what number just becomes some letter like n. You can plug in a letter. Okay. Now we can solve this equation. How do I solve it? n is being multiplied by 0 0.25, so I need to divide. In order to get n by itself, okay, I need to divide this by. 0 0.25, right? And then these numbers cross cancel, you see. So you get n on its own. But you must divide this side by 0 0.25 as well, right? So then you have to calculate 22 divided by 0 0.25. So that is 0 0.25 into 22. And I, I can't divide a decimal into something. So I must move this decimal point two spaces to the right and also move this decimal point one, two spaces to the right. Okay, so that gives me twenty-five into two two zero zero. So what does that become? Twenty-five into twenty-two won't go. Twenty-five into two hundred and twenty. I'm going to guess um, eight times. Let's see what happens. 8 times 5 is 40, carry the 4. 8 times 2 is 16, and 4 is 20. Subtract, and I get 20. Bring a 0 down. 25 into 200. Uh, I think that might be 8 times. What do you think? 8 times 5, 40, carry the 4. 8 times 2, 16, and 4 is 20 subtract and I get 0. So the remainder is 0. The answer then is just 88. So 22 over 0 0.25 is in fact 88. So the number is 88. And so what I've said is now 25% of something, you might remember that's actually one quarter. You remember that? 22 is one quarter of 88. Does that make sense? 22 is a quarter of 88? It is, right? If you take 88 and divide it by 4, you get 22, right? What about this one? 1710 is 18% of what number? In other words, if you're at a restaurant, and I have a bunch of kids, so this happens sometimes, and let's say the tip is 18%, and the tip turns out to be $17.10. What was the... Um, what was the original bill then? If if the if the tip is eighteen percent, like what would the original bill have been? Because seventeen dollars ten is the eighteen percent. So seventeen ten is eighteen percent of what bill at the restaurant? What number? Okay. So let's go ahead and solve this one, right? So seventeen ten seventeen point one zero. That goes there. Is, how can you write is in an equation? Equals? How about 18%? What's that? As a decimal. What's 18% as a decimal? 18, <coughs> the decimal point is here, so I need to move decimal point one, two spaces to the left and I get 0.18 or 0 0.18 of what's of? of means multiply right? it's kinda like just if, if you remember two of those um, apples two of those apples is like saying I want two of those apples or I want two times an apple two times an apple of means multiply right? 18% of what number? How can you write what number? N or X or A or B or whatever you want, some letter, right? So I have 0 0.18 times N. If N is being multiplied by 0 
how can I get n by itself? I need to divide by, to get n by itself, I need to divide that by 0 0.18, right? And now these guys cross cancel, but I must divide this side by 0 0.18 also. So my goodness, 17.10 divided by 0 0.18 is what I need to do. So let's do that. 0 0.18 into 17.10. I cannot divide a decimal into anything, so I need to turn it into a whole number. So I'll go move the decimal point one two spaces to get to to make sure that that's 18 because I want to use 18, a whole number, right? But I must do the same to this guy. Move him two spaces. So this was the trick we learned when we were dividing decimals, and we're getting to review that now, right? Basically which is good. So go ahead and do this, what do you get? 18 into 17 won't go, 18 into 171 I'm gonna try 9 times I think 9, 8, 72, carry the 7 9 ones is 9 and 7 is 16, subtract So that 7 becomes a 6, this becomes a 1, 11 minus 2 is 9, 18, bring the 0 down, 18 into 90 goes how many times? 9. Let's try 5 times, 5 eighths is 40, carry the 4, 5 ones is 5, and 4 is 9, subtract, 0, remainder 0. So the answer is exactly 95. So the, the answer is that the restaurant bill, you see, well at 17.10 is 18% of $95. So where or the whole family at the restaurant and the extended family and whoever else turns up, it's $95 is the total bill at the restaurant. The tip is 18%. And so the tip is, you know, seventy dollars ten cents. So, so if you were just told once again, if you were just told the tip was seventeen dollars ten cents, you knew it was eighteen percent, then that means the bill must have been ninety-five. So that's we've just figured that out, right? Okay, by all means, press pause and try this one by yourself. See what you get, and then check the video. What is five point four percent of four twenty? Okay, this is the kind of first type we tried. Just throw it in here at the end of the video, just to see how you're going to do with it. All we have to do is get 5.4% of this, okay? So we just have to turn this into a decimal. Turn that into a decimal. Move the decimal point, one, two spaces to the left, and stick in the placeholder zero. So point zero five four. Oops, four. Or zero point zero five four. Of multiply by four twenty, right? So I need to multiply this times this. Hmm. So let's do that. Zero point zero five four and I guess I'll do the four twenty up here. Multiply that. Four zeros zero. Four twos eight. Four fours sixteen. Put down a placeholder zero times by five. Five zeros is zero. Five twos is ten. Carry the one. Five fours is twenty and one is twenty one. And then multiply by these zeros. Let's not bother with that. Zero and zero is zero. Eight and zero is eight. Six and zero is six. That makes two. That makes two. How many decimal points in the question? one, two, three. So how many in the answer? One, two, three. Need to put it here. So 22.68 would be the answer there. What is 5.4 percent of 420? The answer is 22.68. If this was a, a real life example of this would be kind of saying, well let's say your Medicare tax on your wages is 5.4%, okay? 
So um, your weekly wage, let's say, is four hundred and twenty dollars. Five point four percent of that becomes twenty two dollars and sixty eight cents. So that's your Medicare tax per week on your wages of four hundred and twenty dollars, right?